Right, it's time for some algorithm. That is the algorithm mixed with hell. If you didn't know, it's like a hell algorithm. Hell algorithm. I did it. I did it. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an answer to a 30, 40 year old question to me. I watched Titanic. We all watched Titanic. Why didn't they all just back the ship up to the iceberg and all just jump on the iceberg? Right? Hmm. We could just stand on the iceberg and just sit here until the ships come. It's like an island of ice. Well, let me tell you why. This is why. All right, yeah, there's all the survivors standing right there on the edge. Okay, we're going to be okay, right? Yes, everything's okay. By the way, everyone was okay on this. I have to research and make sure no one gets hurt. Well, some people get hurt, but they live. They lived. Oh my God. Jack and Kate. No. Uh -oh. No, no. Yeah, so that happens. You, you can't sit on an iceberg. All right, all those... Scientists who said, yeah, you're an idiot for saying that. Well, okay, I get you, I get you. What is this? So icebergs kind of roll. They don't seem to have a lot of balance. No. <laughs> so, yes, that, so apparently, uh, you know, looks like uh, Jack cannot fit on the door after all. Uh, apparently. All right. Next, let's see some hell art. All right, they put these in as AI demon drugs. Amazing, right? I'm a demon, that's a demon? Kinda of looks like my grandpa. All right. There's cocaine, baby, yeah, I know him well. I mean, I, and the demon, not him. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> that's cannabis. Uh, a little <laughs> bit like the swamp thing. I mean, just swamp thing, that thing, right? I, I, that's not the cannabis I It know. looks like the Grinch kind of too. Methamphetamine is not hard enough. Meth, meth guy, but he does have horns, so he's horny. Uh, he's a little icy. I get it. They tried to do the ice. Yeah, I get it. Oh, no. Fentanyl seems scary. That is... Uh, uh, codeine? Uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a demon, but all right. That's the best one. Uh, it's alcohol. kind of seems just like he's chilling. Yeah, I like alcohol. Alcohol's okay. Oh, there's steroids, yes. Again, not a demon. You're gonna make a demon make it look like a demon. Stop it. Oh. Yes, ketamine. These are all scary. Heroin. Ugh. Very scary. Oh, all right. I say I'm a mix of caffeine, so take this one in. I'm a little bit this guy. Uh, not that guy. <laughs> and a little bit of this guy. A little bit of PCP, a little bit of caffeine. <laughs> That's why I think I cried. He's a little bit of PCP, a little bit of caffeine, you know? Oh my Caffeine's God. my downer. Ugh, that's what a life that is. Next! I think I'm a little bit psilocybin and a little bit LSD. <laughs> you say, oh, you're mushroom based. All right, I get it. But I did say, <laughs> next! Oh, mess going, get out of here. That's not a demon. Stop playing this. That looks like a cat. Oh, everyone, please bow your head. And to the wonderful James Wagner. Have you ever had your best friend, pimp, speak just a little too long at your funeral? Well, James Wagner has. And oh my God. It's amazing. Enjoy. <laughs> But the thing is, you know, I was 11 years old and I had a hope. And the police used to pass by. What you doing? What you doing? I said, I'm waiting on my hope. At 11 years old, I ain't never seen nothing like it. That's when I ran into James Wagner. <laughs> oh, poor James. Oh, James Wagner, your family sitting there. The preacher's had enough. He's coming to get you. But anyway, he pulled my coattail. But uh, I just want to tell you. He followed my coattail. <laughs> Preston Hill's alive. 
please send the pimp to my funeral. Please <laughs> just send a pimp. Uh, how cool yeah. does he seem? Yes. Isn't that amazing? He could make up some stories and just make your life seem way more exciting than it really was. Yes, I say hire this, a pimp for every funeral. Yes, and, and, and honestly, with this Diddy stuff, it, this one's too easy. We're moving on. Next. They'll have what action Bronson is having. He went to the Knicks game the other night. And oh, my God. Give me 10 of them. Action, what are you doing? Open your eyes, Action Bronson! You're on TV! Open your eyes, Action Bronson! You're on TV! <laughs> oh. Oh, he took a, he took a, he took in the next game. Yes. And about a thousand milligrams of edibles, I'd say. I think so. Next! Are we the bad guys? Are demons the bad guys? Because if this guy's on your side, you probably want to come on our side. Hey, yo, welcome. Touch that dial. You need to hear this. The second sermon today is the seven wonders of hell. Go to hell. You go to hell. Most people want to go, and I want you to go. Hell is an eternal reality. You're going there. <laughs> Hot tub. Why are the glasses so big in the 80s? Hot tub Christianity. Hot tub Christianity. It's sensuous. The passion. Sex partners. Oh, daddy. You fool. Twit. Blob of protoplasm. Bulldog with AIDS. It is a bulldog with AIDS. Wow. What are you texting me? You texting me? Mm. Oh. You texting me something about our guest? Drugs, witchcraft, Satanism. There will be no dream team to get you off. Get you off. Get you off. Boy, I don't need God. I don't need God. I can feel the flames of hell. Pray. 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 This is all for the religious people that were talking shit to me all day. Get a life. Wrong. You are my son. Fire. Burning in your boat. Christ. Get us out of here. Pray. No, wasn't that fun? Don't they seem. Totally legitimate. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Now, going from one version of hell to another. Yeah, we all, uh, those who have landlords. That, that's what I'm talking about. Next! All right, buckle in for this one, because it's not, it, this is a slow burn. Imagine you're sitting here on Sunday morning watching the NFL and all of a sudden your video camera comes on outside and it's, it's your landlady. Oh, she has some questions for you. Right. Uh, hello? Hi. Yeah. Uh, Hi. This is a surprise Hi. visit. Is everything okay? Look, this is an emergency. I need what? you to go out of my house and give me the key. Why? What's going on? I have my family coming. And I have nowhere to put them, so I want you to go out. Go for holiday or go what? to your girlfriend. Go yes, your landlord wants to use your apartment, and we're going to send you on a holiday. Oh, you're paying for that? No. Just give me the key. Go anywhere you like, give me back the key. Oh, they stay with you. There are 10 children and so on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking around my tiny apartment here, and I'm thinking 10 children would be a little bit of a problem. Ten children? What? Where are they coming from? I'm confused. Israel. They're coming from Israel. They're coming oh, God, I wish I should have cut this part yeah. Doesn't matter where they come from. Landlords are shitty anywhere. But, miss, you okay, see... Now you have to go. Now, look, you have to go. You must go, take your stuff, go live in the car for one week or ten days. <laughs> Imagine your landlord telling you to live in your car for a week. A young man, you can sleep in the car, bring a girlfriend with you to keep you warm, and that's it. No, that's ridiculous. I've got a contract with you. I pay rent. You can't do this. You know, that. Yeah, I've got my rights. You can't just come and kick me. You what I want. The house belongs to me. It doesn't belong to you. If I want you out, you have to leave. That's it. End but it doesn't, story. it doesn't work like that. We have contracts. We have law, you know. There's, there's law. It no, protects no, me. No, as a tenant. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. My family comes first before you. If you go, I don't care. I can bring somebody else. Now you have to leave. Put some stuff in a bag and piss off. <laughs> <laughs> piss off. 
piss off. No. There's no way I'm doing it. That's impossible. First of all, I've got my own plans. You know it's my birthday today as well. I've got a birthday party. My friends are coming in the next two hours. And you're, you're trying to stress me out. How, how can you do this? I'll tell you what. If you have a birthday party, that's fine. The children and the people from Israel will come. And they will sing songs with you. And, <laughs> and that would be fine. And then at the end of the evening, you take your friends and go somewhere else and let them sleep here. That's ridiculous. Look, I'm not having any strange no, no, people no, coming no, into my house. Don't, don't, don't start ridiculizing me. It's this ridiculous. Is my house. It's your house. Wait a it, minute. This is your house. It's my house for the next 24 months because we have the contract. No, 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 no. I didn't sell it to you. I only rented. I can cancel the rent. You can go. You're a young man. You have a lot of friends. Piss off. <laughs> Hold on. Let me first be. Got a lot of friends. Piss off. That's it. No, we're, no, we're not doing I'm that. Telling I'm telling you, you better do it in goodwill because otherwise they will come. Ten children, all of them crazy. They will conquer your house, they will make it better, they will break your stuff. And so what, so what, now, now you're threatening me as well. <laughs> Do you not see how ridiculous this is? If I oh, you, get, just book them a hotel. You've got plenty of money. Get them a hotel. Why, why can't why can they come and stay in your house? No, they can't stay because they are too messy. So they can come and be messy in my house? Is that what you're saying? Yes, because if they go messy in your house, I don't have to clean. You have to clean. But can you see how ridiculous that is? No, that's not happening. I, I refuse. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see. So what it's happens if I refuse? Sorry. And if you don't go... So you know this isn't fake now. I, because of just how persistent she is, this is not an action. Oh, I bring them anywhere. They'll sit in the garden. The minute you open the door, zip, they'll come in. No, I'm not doing this. I refuse. Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I could see that happening. Oh, yes. In California, our squatting lies are bullshit. Oh, yeah. So, yes. Yeah. All right. I love to tell women that you need to smile more. <laughs> they hate it. And so that's why it's fun. TJ Electrify. Uh-huh. You need to smile more. I smile all the time. You can't tell me to smile more. Does that offend you when a man says that to you? Mm. No, I don't really care. What if your boss said it to you? I would go to HR, <laughs> report him. All right. Or her. Well, they, <laughs> yes. Well, let's keep in mind the 80s were one giant HR complaint. Oh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Smile, girl. What you are about to see is based on a true story. It's about a team of McDonald's managers who are faced with a mysterious problem at their restaurant. A problem that developed slowly until it finally emerged in the form of customer satisfaction going... <laughs> there was too much poop in the frosty machine. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. ...down instead of up. I remember coming in here and walking straight up to what? the any time of the day. What? Well, Todd Packer? <laughs> what are you doing there? That's Todd Packer. Do you know Todd Packer? Wow. Ooh, when is this? Is this in the 80s? Yes, hair. It must be in the 70s. <laughs> he's so skinny, and he's not sexually assaulting her. Todd Packer, good job. Good job, Todd Packer. Seems you have to wait. It's hard to put your finger on it, but the service just isn't, you know, personal. Clearly. And the problem didn't go unnoticed by the crew. I don't know what the deal is. Working here is not fun. I keep telling people to smile and be friendly, but it's not working. Maybe you need to check your own. Is that the king of England? <laughs> what is he? <laughs> what are you doing at McDonald's, man? Get back to England. You. This is a rudderless country. Style. Let's try this. Pretend I'm the counter person and you're the customer for a minute. Hi. How are you today? What can I get for you? Oh, now that's all there is to it. I want you to look me in the eye and smile. Yeah. Smile, you dumb cunt! Smile! Hi, it's great to see you today. What would you like? <laughs> great. Perfect. The only real mystery may be... They had a glass to smile. <laughs> they... When are you going to change? Stop the tape. I will stop the tape. Stop the tape for discussion. DJ Electrify. Mm -hmm. I need you to smile a lot more. Our numbers are down. We this is 
we're the managers are looking around at each other like, what's going on? You're not smiling enough. Good thing I have a funny boss. I smile all the time. I can't <laughs> help it. You're gonna need a face, too. Uh, that's the other thing. We don't have a lot of faces, or I got an itch, but we don't have a lot of faces around here. Oh, there's not a lot of smiling going on over here. You get what I'm saying? There's not a lot of faces. <laughs> there's not a lot of smiling. All right, here we go. Next. Hey, this next thing, I really like it. I wish I would have been doing it for all year. Let's pretend I've been doing it all year. Next. Okay. Oh, it's that time, ladies and gentlemen! This is my favorite segment on my entire show. It's where I get to be very lightly racist, but it doesn't matter because I have an Obama tattoo. Yes, I have an Obama tattoo, so I get to be racist now. <laughs> this is fun. All right, comes from China. Safety tips. And I call it, don't do that! Don't do that! No, don't do that! No, don't do that! No, no, you gotta tie that off! You gotta tie that off! No, you didn't tie that off! No, don't do that! No, you gotta wanna close that! You gotta wanna close that! No, oh, that is a brunch from hell right there! <laughs> what? What happened to Sarah? Oh, she got decapitated at brunch! Oh my god. <laughs> but her falafel was amazing. Oh. Oh, that oh. can happen. Oh, look how high he is. Don't do that. Oh. Is there an epidemic in China of these goddamn trucks not latching? Don't they make the latches? You make the latches. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> oh that one sucks. Oh, the noise, the sound effects are amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> the text like, honey, I love you. Oh, that's sweetie. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, wh what is the safety tip here? <laughs> I tell. Oh god, I started off with the top. Boink! Wh what is his safety tip? Don't exist. <laughs> don't. You're watering the lawn. You're just like do do do. Boink! You're dead. Uh, what is the say? How can he ever stop? See, these are these are like safety tips. How you stop? Like don't step on this to do this. <laughs> these are just victims at this point. Yes, oh. do better, bitch. You can totally have avoided that. <laughs> How? What? <laughs> oh. he, took a, he took a step and died. Oh, you, How dare you walk on a roof you were fixing? Oh. This one, though. What is this guy going to do different next time? He's walking next to a truck that should be okay. Oh, don't look at your phone. Total attention ahead of you. <laughs> and, yeah. and don't be fat, because this is clearly how you die here. Don't do that! Okay, this one's stupid. No, you deserve whatever happens to you. Oh, I landed on you. Well, that just seems like bad luck. Don't do that! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know why that one got me. That one's funny. <laughs> you got... <sighs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, all right, this one. Don't do that. Do not do this. No, no, no. You let the tractor do that. You run away now. Run away. Do not do it! Don't stand right under any noise! You're like, oh, this is crazy! Alright, well, that was fun. The hell gonna go? Don't do that! Yes. See, last year was the Digital Demon Delights. This year was the Hellgorilla. Next year, no, oh, next series, it might be something else. Oh, that might be the last one you ever see. Isn't that amazing? Oh, don't make me cry. Don't do that! 